Wisconsin Regional High School for a great evening of Panther basketball. I'm Bob Hayes alongside my broadcast partner, Mike Morside, bringing you the call of tonight's game as the Whitman Hanson Panthers take on the Plymouth North Eagles. Glad you have tuned into this WHCA production. The crew working on this Whitman Hanson Community XX production today is WHCA staff members Amy Broderick, Kevin Tocci, and Paul Watson, the best crew of the night. And ladies and gentlemen, I've got a newbie with me. Mike, how's it feel to be up here in the booth broadcasting oh, tonight's game? Oh, it feels great. This is my first game. This is exciting. We have two teams mashed up tonight. We have the 9-4 and four Whitman Panthers versus the 6-6 six and six Plymouth North Eagles. And this is going to be quite a game tonight. We're already fired up here, and we are ready to go. Mike, as, as you see tonight's game, you'll see the emerging players who really start in this contest. Whitman Hanson plays a rough and tumble attack. They're up and down the court. They're quick at what they do. You're going to see it in about two seconds. I've only seen Plymouth North Eagles once this season, and they weren't quite that quick. But... You're going to see the action as Whitman Hanson gets a tap and it goes to Leahy. Leahy passes the ball to Hunter and we're off here at beautiful Whitman Hanson Regional High School. Ball's passed to Leahy in the center. They double team and he gets fouled. Fouls on number four of the Eagles. First foul of the tonight's game. Ball's back courted to Taj Hunter from Rice. Three pointer up, and it's good. First blood. Senior Josh Genero gets a three pointer right out of the gate. And that's how you want to see Whitman Hansen start. First shot, see if we can continue. The Eagles throw up a three. It's a miss. Leahy comes down with a rebound. Throws the ball away. And Whitman Hanson's back on D. Hopefully that'll be the only turnover the first half of the Whitman Hanson Panthers. With the nine and four record, they must have good ball control. Well, Mike, as you see, oh, Plymouth North takes a three, and it's a long three, and it goes in. Jay Leonard's the captain there, and he just puts a three up. With 6.37 remaining in the third, I mean the first period, the score is 3-3. Three, three. Leahy goes up, easy, right down the paint, scores two points. Panthers are back on D. Oh, they throw the ball away, Leahy's on the ground. Up he goes, easy layup. The Panthers are back on D. As you can see, Mike, Whitman Hanson takes Spears nothing. Oh, they steal the ball. John Rose going to the hoop. That was great defense. Whitman Hanson had their hands up, prevented the pass from being made. They made the steal. Fortunately, they couldn't capitalize on transition, but they get the ball right back, and here we go. Number Ball's 24. passed in. Three-pointer goes up, and it's in. Senior Jacob Hanson Bartlett for three. And we've got a timeout. They're breaking the action here at Whitman Hanson Regional High School with the score. Yo, Whitman Hanson Panthers 10, Plymouth North Eagles three. Mike, as I told you, they're going to get off to a fast start. The Panthers take no prisoners. Once they get started, it's a run and gun type of a basketball, and you're seeing it right now. Two minutes in, two three pointers, two layups for Leahy, hence the 10 points. The three point shot for the Eagles was put in by Captain Jay Leonard. And this is exactly what you want to see and it all starts with good coaching. The team is coached very well and as you can see, they're off to a great start and we hope to see more of it in this first half. What an exciting first few minutes of the game. Coach Rogers works very hard with these boys. I know they practice all the time. They were in Florida this year and they had some great success. And if you look at their record being nine and four coming into tonight's contest, last two years, the coach has brought them to the state championships in the garden. And I believe if they win tonight's contest, it puts them in the tournament. 
it makes them, no matter what happens for the rest of the season, if they win tonight. Any win, I believe, secures a tournament play for them. Okay, we're back at the action here at Whitman Hanson. Plymouth North's inbound the ball. Whitman Hanson's on a full court press. Gets broke. Almost throw it away. Three pointer up by the captain, Jay Leonard, and he loses the ball. Here comes Leahy. Passes the ball to Genero. He gets fouled. And that proved to be a good timeout. They forced the <clears throat> bad shot by the Plymouth North team. And once again, Women Hansen is back in possession of the basketball, about ready to inbound the ball. Taj Hunt is going to be inbounding the ball. They spread the floor. There it goes. It goes out to Genro. Back to Hunter. And as you can see, Mike, they're spreading the floor to make a little action down underneath. Passes it to Rice. Rice throws up a three-pointer, and it's good. Tyler Rice for three. The Eagles run, run back. Rice almost in, intercepts the ball. Three-pointer is an air ball. Nice rebound, a little tip on that play. We got a little travel called on Josh. And it's gonna be Eagles ball. Whitman Hanson still on a full court press. They're coming up on 10 seconds here, it looks like. Little, they bring it over half court. Number two for the Eagles, throws up a three-pointer. Hunter tips it to Bartlett, Hanson, Hanson Bartlett, and they come back and the Panthers are on offense. You're gonna see this type of play pretty much the whole game. Whitman Hanson's pretty intense. Taj goes to the hoop and there's two points for Taj Hunter. What a great way to open up the lane and create some points. That's what we need. Offense going here. We have a 15-3 game with 4.09 left in the, in the first period. Nice steal by Leahy. That height is a giant advantage as you just saw. It. Genero throws one up. It goes off the rim and the Eagles are back on offense. Little applied pressure at the top of the key, forces the man down, and we got a timeout time out. here. We're breaking the action at Whitman Hanson Regional High School. The score is Yaw Whitman Hanson Panthers 15, Plymouth North Eagles 3. Mike, what do you think the coach is telling the Eagles? He just called a timeout. I think it's the second timeout of the first period. What do you do when you're down 15 3 and you've got a team playing run and gun basketball and in this unbelievable stealth defense mm. that they're playing? Every single one of these kids on the floor mm. is playing hard. Yeah, the women, Hanson Panthers, they're, they're at a steady pace. Uh, they have a 12-point lead, and they look to add to it. Um, what really needs to happen for Plymouth North is they need to change their game strategy. But women, Hanson is on fire right now. They're hitting shots all over the place, and they look to continue more. And if I was a coach, I would say to women, Hanson, keep Keep up the good work. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep pressing. Keep trapping. Keep getting those rebounds. Look for transition. Make those baskets and keep building on your lead to force Plymouth North into a hole that they can't get out of. The coach is pretty confident. He's got the same five starters in the game. And they're building on that lead. And we're going to have Plymouth North ball. We're back in the action here at Whitman Hanson. Plymouth North inbounds the ball to the captain, Jay Leonard. Leahy anticipates the pass. Leonard throws up a three-pointer. They come down with a rebound. They're moving the ball around. Another three-pointer. Goes up and it's good. Number 25, Cameron Shaughnessy for the Eagles just put a three-pointer in. Women Hanson has to be careful on the defensive end. They have to make sure they get those rebounds and not give up second chance points. They don't want to give up any more points to the Eagles. They're holding a, a nine point lead right now and they, they look to add to it. But right now, we just the had a little, have the ball. We just had a little travel call on the Panthers. Little turnover here. 
Senior Josh Genero is playing stealth defense tonight. Shot close. And there's a steal by Hunter. He, go, he goes up for a layup, gets stripped of the ball, and it's still going to be Panthers' ball. Inbounds it to Rice, Ty Rice, and they run it around, and here goes Leahy. Strong take, got himself to the get, foul line. He gets fouled, it's on the floor foul. It's gonna be Panthers ball with a new shot clock, they'll be inbounding. He got fouled at the top of the key, Mike, it looked like on the way there was a push. Sorry about that. Inbounds the ball, to senior Jacob Hanson Bartlett. Number 23 Hunter. with a strong take. Bartlett comes down with it. Goes back up, gets his own rebound, gets fouled. Comes right back around, spins, goes to the hoop. Gets fouled on the way up. That's basketball. Does not give up. Women Hanson sure making up for the, uh, making up on the offensive glass for the missed defensive rebound in the la last possession. And right now they look to capitalize. He misses the first one. This is what you want to see. You want to see get into the foul line. You want to be able to get points slowly or take the time off the clock. And we're approaching two minutes and 33 seconds in We've the first period. He missed them both. Leahy comes down with the rebound, goes to the hoop, puts two in for two points. Leahy's got six points so far here in this first period at Whitman Hanson. Number 12, forced into a shot, but he makes it. He gets one for two. Bossy gets subbed in. Bossy's now bringing the ball up. And they got a full court press going on, too. Whitman Hanson breaks it pretty easy. They're, they're double teaming Bossy. Gives it to Leahy. And we got a foul. It was an over the back foul. That foul was called on uh, Brian Tyree. Plymouth North looking to do something against this Whitman Hanson defense, but the Whitman Hanson defense applying some pressure. Rebound, number two. Transition on the fast break. Finds the open man. Offensive rebound. Way he comes down with the ball, gives it to Tyree. Tyree throws up a two pointer. Or was it a three? Looked to be a two, but see if the refs confirm it. I think he got I think it was a three. Count up the points. It was a three pointer. That's the first score for Brian Tyree this evening. Nice three pointer. Wow, now the lead's increased 20 to eight, but. Plymouth North knocks down. Is, Peruzzi, was that Peruzzi throws in a three for the Eagles. Trying to close the gap here. With 43 seconds left in the first period, the score is Joe Whitman Hanson Panthers 20, Plymouth North Eagles 11. Whitman Hanson looking to score some points before the close of the first period. Leahy goes to the hoop, gets the rebound. Looked like he got a push to me. I think the ref might have not seen that. Of course, uh, Mike, from up here, we, we don't have a whistle, but we call them all fouls. Yes, yes, yes. Clock's winding down. Shot clock's off, 18, 17, 16. We're going to be closing out this first period pretty quick. Women Hanson looking to apply some tight D in the final seconds of the first period. Challenge contested shot and no good. Borgen comes down with a rebound. At the end of the first period here at Whitman Hanson, score is your Panthers 20, Plymouth North Eagles 11. Well, Mike, what did you think of the first period? I told you it was going to be run and gun kind of basketball and uh, 
what you saw was some some really really uh, fast action there. Yes, your predictions are absolutely right. I watched warm-ups, and they looked good. They looked strong, and they carried it over into the first period. They, they put 20 points up. That's at that rate. They're really going to do some damage, and that's what you want to see. I believe with the next, with tonight's win, they'll be able to enter into the tournament. Last year, they made it to the state championships, and 9-4 and record this, this year is good. They really need this win tonight, and hopefully in the second period, they'll be able to add more to their scoreboard. Well, after the first period, Genero's got three, Ty Rice has got three, Taj Hunt has got two, Jacob Hanson Bartlett's got three, Leahy's got six, and Tyree's got three. So they're not uh, too shy on shooting those three pointers. And when they're hitting, you see the results. It's 20 to 11 here at Whitman Hanson. And, and that was the buzzer to start the second period. With the score, your Whitman Hanson Panthers 20, Plymouth North Eagles 11. Plymouth North ball on the inbound. And we're back at the action here. And what an exciting first period that was. Let's see if we can translate even more into the second period. I think you're gonna see Plymouth North try to spread the floor and throw some of those three pointers up just like you just saw. Only that was an air ball. It was just to the left of the hoop. And speaking of three pointers, long shots equal long rebounds. And if Whitman Hanson Wants to be able to get good fast break transition points. They need to get any misses off the Plymouth North three-pointers. And at the same time, Whitman Hanson has to connect on their own threes to further separate themselves in this nine-point lead. Number 11 for the Panthers throws up a three, just misses it. Tyree comes down with the rebound. Great, great rebound. He goes back up strong, and he gets fouled. Plymouth North's got five fouls early in the second period. That could be... A problem before long will yes. be in the one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, yes, you do not want to see that. You don't want to get in foul trouble and lead to foul shots, extra points. Brian misses the first one, just rimmed out a little bit. And he hits the second one. Plymouth Noss on offense. The Panthers fall back on D. Bossy's playing up tight. Whitman Hanson with a 10 point lead and playing defense. Let's see if they can get some fast break points. Let's see if they're applying some pressure. 15 throws up a three, misses it. Borgen comes down with a rebound. Fast break, passes it to Tyree. He pulls it in, passes it to number 35, Ryan Schwade. Schwade's in the middle, dishes it back and forth. He's passing it back and forth with Cole Lewis. Lewis goes to the hoop, almost loses the ball. Passes it to Borg and back to Lewis, goes up for a three and bang, it's good. That's exactly what we're talking about. Three ball, three balls playing a large part of the game here and this could mean a lot of points. Could be a Cole high, Lewis. high scoring game. Cole Lewis just hit a three for the Panthers. We got some action there in the paint. I don't... Plymouth North back on offense. Plymouth North's not shy on the three-pointers either. Lewis comes down with it, gives it to Bossy, and Whitman Hanson's back on offense. Whitman Hanson's defense has been Tyree very good. Tyree throws up a three, and it's good! That's good. Senior Brian Tyree's got seven points so far in this half. Nice, nice drive to the hoop. The Jay Leonard, captain of the uh, Plymouth North Eagles. He's Pester and Bossy on a full court press. Bossy to Swade, back to Bossy. It looks like he's going the hoop, passes it off to Borgen. It's on the floor and the Eagles come up with it. We got a foul here on the Panthers. That was a smart foul. He stopped the fast break, was able to slow down the game a little bit, get everyone a little breather. It's been intense. Right now it's 27-13. Whitman, Whitman Hansen's doing a very solid job. They're forcing Plymouth North into three-pointers, and but they're not connecting. 
let's see if the defense continues. If you notice, Mike, Plymouth North's having trouble getting inside, and it is forcing them to throw the ball up. They're moving it around the top of the key, and they, they're having some trouble with the penetration. Tyree steals the ball. We got a fast break going here. Passes it to Lewis. Lewis back to Tyree. He gets double teamed. Back to Lewis. Over to Bossy. To Borgen. Borgen throws up a three, and it's good. That was great. Women Hansen recognized the pressure, the trap in the corner. They were able to find the open man and hit the open three. Sophomore Max Borgen just threw in a three. We had a foul. Foul. Fouls on the Plymouth North Eagles, number 24. Ball's inbounded to Taj Hunter. He's getting pestered by Jay Leonard from the Eagles. Gives it to Leahy. Leahy gives it to Josh Bartlett Hansen. A Hansen Bartlett at Jacob, no less. I keep doing that. What a feed. That's what you want. You want your big man to pass as well. He finds the open layup. Women nice steal. Josh Genero could gets the ball. We got an offensive foul on number four. Senior Josh Genero. The Eagles are going to take over. <coughs> With 4.14 left here in the second period, Whitman Hanson. Score is your Pan Whitman Hanson Panthers 32. Plymouth North Eagles 13. And Whitman Hansen is playing a very clean game. They only have three fouls in the second period compared to Plymouth North with six. Whitman Hansen playing a very smart, clean game. Taj Hunter saves it. Loses the ball. Plymouth North comes back with a fast break and scores two points. Cole Lewis is bringing the ball up for the Panthers. Passes it to Leahy. Leahy to Hunter. You're seeing some fast back and forth action here. Over to Hunter. To Genero. He throws it up. We got a foul on number 24 of the Panthers. Jacob Hanson Bartlett, first foul of the night, I believe, third for the Panthers. Whitman Hanson still with a tight D. What a block. Unbelievable block. Block turns into transition. Leahy brings it in for two. Wonderful. And that, that was off of an unbelievable block by Jacob Hansen Bartlett. They'll be talking about that block for the next week or so. Nice fake. We've got a loose ball. Panthers come down. We got a timeout called by the coach of Panthers, Bob Rogers. Some smart timeout. With 2.32 left in the second period here at Whitman Hanson, the score is your Whitman Hanson Panthers 34, Plymouth North Eagles 17. Well, Mike, what do you think? I think the pace of the Whitman Hanson Panthers is excellent. Once again, they're up 17 points. They're connecting on their shots. They're getting rebounds. They're playing the most important aspects of the game right. They're executing. And I'd like to see more tough D lead to more transition, more fast break points, and keep the Plymouth North Eagles struggling to keep up. Well, as I said in the beginning, and you'll hear me say it many times this game, this is run and gun basketball. It's the kind of ball that the Panthers like to play, fast and furious, and they do a good job at it. I love, the, I love a West Coast offense. I love the fast break, move the ball, good tempo, keep the pace going, stay in control of the game. Speaking of a great offense that you're talking about, like a West Coast offense, we have a great crew working tonight's production. Amy Broderick, Kevin Tocci, and Paul Watson will be bringing you the back behind us to make us look good, Mike. 
because God knows somebody's got to. Hey, our, our camera team is doing as good as the Whitman Hanson Panthers. Ball's inbound to Taj Hunter has the ball. He's bringing it up. Passes it to Genero, to Leahy, to Jacob Hanson Bartlett. Gets a little deflection on a three-pointer. It gets tipped. Comes up a little bit short, and the Eagles are back on. Oh, we got a foul on Ty Rice. Women, women Hanson staying very aggressive with the hands up, eliminating any inside passes, any inside paint points. They're really doing a good job holding the Plymouth North Eagles to just inbound passes. They're certainly playing tough D. And if you, can't, if you can't get inside and work from the inside, it's forcing Plymouth North to take some of these shots. I would imagine the next time out, Plymouth North is going to have to come up with a new strategy. That was a nice drive for number 12, Cameron Potter. We had a little tip, and the Plymouth North coach didn't like that call. Leahy's going to the hoop. He loses control of the basketball after a little uh, tip from the Eagles. We had 11 seconds left on the shot clock, so Whitman Hanson's gonna have to get at it. He inbounds the ball. And what a drive to the hole. Yes, that was. Jacob that Hanson was. Bartlett for two more, and he just turned around, little spin move, and goes right to the hoop. Great move. Once again, Whitman Hanson applying the tight D inside the paint, forcing just rebounds. Oh, we got a foul. I think it's gonna be on, on number 24. Jacob Hanson Bartlett. That's the second foul of the first half. We hit number 25 at the line for the Eagles, Cameron Shaughnessy, and he gets the first one. And he gets the second one. They're meeting him right at half court. They've got uh, Jay Leonard pestering. Ty Rice throws it up, and it's good! Tyler Rice! What a shot. Two. Great pass, find the open man, and hit the three. Tyler Rice has got two threes this half so far. Number three throws one up for the Eagles and gets a three point. I love to see the back and forth with the three ball. John Filippini. Genero goes for the hole. Looks like he might have twisted his ankle. Nope, he's up. But Whitman Hansen trying to keep the momentum going into halftime. Once again, they're on defense, applying pressure and holding Plymouth North just to the three-point line. They can't They can't get any mid-range. Taj Hunter almost stole the ball. Passes to a nice rebound. Nice rebound by number 25, Cameron Shaughnessy for the Eagles. And here we are, the half's over. The score at halftime is your Panthers 39 and the Plymouth North Eagles 26. I'm Bob Hayes alongside Mike Moorside, and we'll be back in a bit with second half action here on Whitman Hanson Community Access. Back to second half action with the Panthers leading the Plymouth North Eagles 39-26. I'm Bob Hayes alongside Mike Moorside as we get ready for the teams to take the court. Mike, what'd you think? We talked about first and second half action here, and uh, if you if you were the Plymouth North Eagles coach, what would you have said to your team? You're coming into halftime, you're trailing the Panthers by 13 points. 
and they dominated pretty much the first half. Three-pointers were, were flying. They were falling. I mean, we, we've got guys. Josh Genero's got three. Lewis has got three. Borgen's got three. Tyler's got two. Th- Tyler Rice has got two threes. Josh Hanson Bartlett's got a three. Brian Tyree's got two threes. Uh, you've got Leahy with eight points. Tyree with six. Bartlett with seven. Hunter with two. Rice with six. Borgen with three. Lewis with three. And Junro with three. I mean, what do you do if you're the coach of Plymouth North? Sometimes there's nothing you can do with a hot, hot shooting team. But if I was Plymouth North, I, I would encourage tighter D and get those rebounds. But unfortunately, Women Hansen is just so hot from the three-point range, I don't know if they can be stopped tonight. Looks like they're just going to shoot them out of the building. Well, we're going to be going here in about uh, 10 seconds for second-half action at Whitman Hansen. For those just tuning in, the score at the end of the first half was your Whitman Hansen Panthers 39, Plymouth North Eagles. And Tyler Rice going to be inbounding the ball to... Taj Hunter as we get underway here at Whitman Hanson for second half Panther basketball action. Oh, good idea. Pass is coming a little hot, too hot for Ty Rice. Ball goes out of bounds, and we got a turnover right out of the gate. Plymouth North's on offense. And let's see what the, what the coach told them at halftime, see if we see any changes. Oh, nice layup, rebound, brother rebound, and Ty Rice comes down with it, passes the ball to Hunter, and Whitman Hansen's coming back fast. Whitman Hansen has been solid on the glass tonight. We got a foul right out of the gate. Foul's on number four, Jake Leonard. First foul of the second half for Plymouth North. Rice to Hunter, Hunter's bringing the ball up. Passes it to Genro. Over to Ty Rice, back to Hunter. They're playing tough D and they leave him wide open and it looked like he was gonna throw it up. And here we go, good fake. Throws it up and it's good for two. Everyone's on fire tonight for the Whitman Hands. And you pass the ball to anybody and they're able to knock down the shot. That's exactly what the coach wants to see. Consistent points being scored. We got a foul on the Panthers. It's going to be on 23, Taj Hunter. I think it's his first of the game. Whitman Hansen definitely, definitely had a very clean first half. They had minimal fouls. I think they ended up with three for the whole first half. Nice bucket by Cameron Shaughnessy. He was played tough, but the only way you're going to stop that is if you follow him. Hunter throws up a three. Just bounces off the rim, and we got an over-the-back call on number four, Josh Genro. Hunter was on fire in pregames, hitting the three. Let's see if the shot will come back to him here in the How third How many period. fouls on uh, number, number uh, four? Number four, he has one... He just got one more. So now he has two personal fouls. They have played a clean game. He comes down with the ball, and they're on a break, and a beautiful pass over to Taj Hunter, and he gets fouled. Gate pass by number four, Josh Jenner, to Hunter. He goes up for the layup, and he gets fouled. So we're going to see him at the foul line. With 6.07 left here in third period action at Whitman Hanson, the score is your Panthers 41, Plymouth North Eagles 28. Hunters at the line. First one just rims out. Foul shots have been hard to come by in this game, so every point counts. Whitman Hanson needs to make sure that they are are able to hit their free throws just like their three-pointers. Tyree subs into the game. Bryant's had a pretty hot hand. He's got six, two threes. Hunter's second shot, it's all net, and here we go. (laughs) 
Whitman Hanson with good D, applying some pressure with their hands up. See if they can cause any turnovers. Oh, Plymouth North throws it away. That's what you want to see. Great defense. Coach is putting in good word. And the second half is off to a good start for Whitman Hanson. Leahy inbounds to Hunter, and they fall back on the D. Here goes Leahy to the basket. Boom! Gets the layup and gets fouled on the way in. I watched him during the pregames, and he was hitting all of his shots. And that's Leahy, what, that's Leahy what, can turn this right into a three-point play. That was a sweet layup, and you knew he was going to get fouled. How do you stop a guy that's 6'4 and isn't afraid to go to the hoop at all? You, you can't. You, you can only hope he'll miss his shots. Shaughnessy throws one up, and it goes in for three. Cameron Shaughnessy just threw up a three-pointer for the Eagles. Hunter throws it back to Leahy. Leahy to Hunter. Back to Leahy. Nice pick by Tyree. Leahy loses the ball, comes back with the ball, and Rice throws one up from downtown. Great nice, offensive nice board. Nice rebound. Nice, nice rebound there. Whitman Hansen has shown excellent hustle tonight. They're going after everything, trying to make sure that they keep their lead and head into the tournament. Number 24 is playing a stealth game, Jacob Hansen Bartlett. He's got some pretty good points. He's got seven points in the first half, and he's just playing tough, tough basketball. Here he goes right then and there. He must have heard me. He threw up a three. It just misses. What Ty a great Rice. rebound. Ty Rice comes back with the rebound. Once again, Tyree's Whitman Hansen. going to the hoop, and he gets fouled. Whitman Hansen staying aggressive with their hustle, able to stay in possession of the ball. With only four minutes and 31 seconds in the third period, Plymouth North's got four fouls already. Nice inbound. Rice goes up, passes to Hunter. Hunter to Tyree. Tyree throws one up, missed three more points. Senior Brian Tyree's on fire too. He's got three threes so far tonight. What a great assist from Hunter. Hunter's doing everything. He's getting to the line, making good assists. The whole team's on fire. The 16 point lead. There goes one from downtown and it's a miss. Rice comes up with it, almost looked like a kick ball. Looks like Plymouth North's doing a few more substitutions this half. Yeah. Coach is trying to change it up a little bit, I think. Yes, and their guys must be tired too. Women Hansen has been a handful tonight. Look at that. Way he comes down with the ball, and then he gets fouled by number 12 after he gets a steal. Oh, no. They might be calling that on Leahy. I don't think the coach is too happy about that. I didn't agree with that call either, Mike. What would you think? Leahy steals the ball and gets a push, and then they call the foul on him. I don't know. Yeah, 50-50 plays are tough. Foul on uh, number three by Ty Rice. Good foul. Plymouth Lott's going to be at the line for two. They get the first one. Filippini, John L. Filippini from Plymouth North gets his first shot. Get, misses the second one, and Leahy comes down with a big rebound. Gives it to Hunter. Hunter's bringing it up. Gives it to Tyree. Tyree to Leahy. Leahy. Gets hit on the way up, and it just gets tipped wide. And Plymouth lost, head coming back. Whitman Hanson's playing tough, tough defense. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised to see there a couple of There goes another turnovers. one from downtown, and it goes in. 
Justin Peruzzi closes the gap to 12 point lead for the Panthers. Leahy to Hunter. Hunter to Leahy. Over to Rice. Rice throws up a three and it goes in. Ty Rice for three points. He's got three threes. Nine points so far this game. Oh, super defense by Taj Hunter. Forces a turnover and the Panthers are coming back on offense. Bossy subs in, Leahy's gonna be inbounding the ball to Bossy. Whitman Hanson, a very good three and D team. Bossy's bringing the ball up. Pass to Leahy. Leahy's looking to go to the hoop. And he does, comes back down with the ball. Shoots up another one. And we got a foul on Whitman Hanson. Ah, they both have four fouls, Mike. There's a lot of time left in this game that could prove to be uh, some bonus situation. But it shows you both teams are playing it all. That's the great part about high school sports. You come to a game and you've got Young gentlemen are the playing every single bit of their heart in this game, trying to win. And it's it's just a fabulous sport. Chuck goes up and misses. Tyree comes down with the ball. Bossy to Rice. And we got a foul on Plymouth North. Much different story here in the second half as far as fouls. Both teams with five. Well, when you play aggressive, aggressive basketball, it just happens. I mean, you saw that play there. there. There was no other way. They're both going for the ball. It just so happens he fouled them. I mean, this is aggressive basketball. Whitman Hanson likes to play that. That was a great shot that just got tipped wide. Number one shoots it from downtown, and it goes in. I mean, that shot was from 10 feet behind the three-point line, and it was all net. If there was a four-point line, that surely would be a four-point. There you go. With a break in the action here at Whitman Hanson, and 151 left in the third period, the score is your Whitman Hanson Panthers 50, Plymouth North Eagles 38. Well, there had to be some tep talks going on, Mike, when they uh, went into the locker rooms, because both teams have come out, and they've been playing some tough, tough basketball. It tells just by the number of fouls. We get five fouls on each side. And they've all been, they weren't chippy fouls. They were fouls because both teams are playing 150%. Plymouth North has to because they're trying to get back in the game. And Whitman Hanson's just playing stealth defense. When you play that type of defense, Mike, you're bound to get some fouls. It's a given. Yes, both teams want this game badly and hopefully the three-pointers will continue to fall for Whitman Hanson. We've got a 12-point uh, deficit here. And we're gonna have a full court press by Plymouth North. And now they're backing off. We've got Bossy to Tyree. And we get a foul. I believe that foul's on Plymouth North. Next one, we're gonna be in the bonus here at Whitman Hanson. That's exactly what you don't wanna happen. You don't wanna have your team be in the penalty and give up free throws, but if Whitman Hanson can connect on these free throws and increase their lead, They'll be sitting pretty going into the fourth quarter. Here goes Leahy. Unbelievable pass to number 24, Jacob Hanson Bartlett, and he goes up for two. Great pass from Leahy. They double teamed Leahy as they thought he was going to the hoop. That left Jacob Hanson Bartlett wide open to go in for that layup on that pass. It was fabulous. And there goes number one again, Kristen Peruzzi for three. Shaves the lead down to 11 points. This has been a very exciting game. A minute left in the third period. 
Period is winding down. Bossy passes the ball to Ty Rice. To lay here, we've got a foul. We're gonna be in the one-on-one -on -one situation. Foul's on number 11, Jeremy Whiting, and you're gonna see way he go to the hoop. And he's pretty deadly with those foul shots. I'll be surprised if we don't see two points coming out of this. Leahy's having a great game. He's got 10 points already, eight in the first half, two in the second. 46 seconds left here in the third period at Whitman Hanson. With the score, you're Whitman Hanson Panthers 52. Plymouth North Eagles 41. Leahy's at the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. The first one goes in. Plymouth North a little too aggressive on defense, giving up some one and ones but Whitman Hanson are aggressive, but they're playing a cleaner game. Well, he gets them both. I think, Mike, you're seeing with, with a whole dug like this, they have to get aggressive. The Eagles have got eight minutes to, to bring a 13-point deficit to just tie it. So, I mean, they, they've got to start playing some basketball if they have any hope of getting back into this game. Jay Leonard throws one up for three. And it's a 10 point game. My how fast the changes with those three point exchanges. Fancy dribble drive baseline. Cole Lewis throws up a three pointer. Deep outlet pass by Plymouth North. To end the period, out of bounds. Plymouth North coach is looking for a foul. And we've got a little discussion by the refs. I think you're gonna see a foul here on the Panthers. Puts Whitman Hanson next foul there in the bonus too. With the end of three periods here at Whitman Hanson Regional High School, the score is your Whitman Hanson Panthers 54, Plymouth North 44. Mike, what are you thinking? I'm thinking as we approach this fourth quarter that Plymouth North needs to come up with a new strategy or at least hope that the Whitman Hanson Panthers don't hit their shots, but it doesn't seem to appear that way. Women Hans has consistently held a double-digit lead throughout the game, and I wouldn't imagine that would dis that would disappear anytime soon. Momentum is f well well on Women Hans and Panthers side. Well, you've got John Rowe with five, Lewis with three, Borgen with three, Rice with three threes for nine points, Hunter with three points, Hanson Bartlett's got nine points. Leahy has got 12 points, and Tyree has got nine points and three threes for Tyree. So now you've got eight minutes left here at Whitman Hanson. You've got a 10-point deficit. You have the Plymouth North Eagles. At, I believe at halftime it was a 13 or 14-point deficit, so they, they brought it back within 10. You're going to see some aggressive basketball, but it will hurt Plymouth North because they're in the boat. Whitman Hanson's in the bonus. I would imagine that the coach, Whitman Hansen, is making sure that his team continues a good game play and is able to execute the defensive and offensive schemes. You've got to play up on this, this number one because he's downtown Brown with those threes. And there we go for a three for Plymouth North. They bring the, le bring the lead down to seven points. Panthers need a hoop here. and they just miss one. Bossy comes full court, throws it up and just rims it out. I think it might have been tipped. Shaughnessy looked like he was going for a three. And it's the three point parade going on here for the uh, Eagles. Try to get back in this game. Whitman Hansen has to make sure they do a good job of the boxing out to get the rebounds off the threes. Here goes Leahy to the hoop. Leahy comes back up with the ball and he called, gets called for over the back. The coach didn't like that call. There's some exchanges going on and this is getting a little chippy here. Yeah, this late in the game, this is when the game really counts. You have to, you have to. Well, you've got 6.54 left in the fourth period. With the score of 50, Whitman Hanson Panthers 54, Plymouth North Eagles 47. They're crawling back in here. But it is getting a little chippy. It sure is. You can feel it in the building. 
The excitement's in the air here at Whitman Hanson. And you're gonna see a basketball game yet. This is what I like about high school sports. You've got teams playing at everything. Number four shoots it up. It's a miss. Rice comes down with the ball. And it's Panthers back on offense. Bossy's bringing the ball up. Inbounds it to Leahy. Leahy comes back up with the rebound, just does not give up. Goes up for the two points and gets fouled. Nothing Leahy more stayed right with that. Misses the first shot. Comes down with three defenders around him. Comes up with the basketball. Goes up for the shot. Gets two points and gets fouled. Great hustle and he has a chance to build a double digit lead. Three point play for Leahy. Whitman Hanson developing more of a cushion here and this is what they need going in, going in these last six minutes. Mike, one thing you never see, whether it's a big deficit lead or, or any of the above, Whitman Hanson plays 32 minutes of basketball. Nice come down with a nice rebound, gets triple teamed. Passes to Rice, that's from downtown. What a rebound. Rice comes right down the paint. What a pass from number 24 of the Panthers. Hanson Bartlett, Rice comes right down the paint, lays it right up. Josh Rice is having an unbelievable game. What a smart play. It looked like momentum was swinging in the favor of Plymouth North, but Women Hanson grabs momentum right back and is up by 12. Make that 10 after a bucket by Plymouth North. John Rowe comes back into the game. Brings the ball up. Pass from Rice to John Rowe. He's gonna go right to the hoop. He goes up. Oh! Strong take. Bolt comes down. Leahy for two more. Coach must be happy with the offensive rebounds and the second chance points. Leahy's got nine points this second half. What a strong contributor here. This is exactly what Whitman Hanson needed. He's got 17 points so far. Big time night, 17 points. Three pointer goes up and it was missed. Whitman Hanson back on the aggressive D with the hands up. Foul on number two, Bossy. It's gonna put him in the one on one. Number four, Jay Leonard is at the line on a one on one. Oh, it looks like he's shooting too. Oh, it was one on one. Leahy comes down with the ball, dishes it to Hunter, back to Leahy, and here comes Leahy up the floor. Shaughnessy tips, it's out of bounds. It's gonna be Whitman Hanson possession. Whitman Hanson on the inbound. Josh John Rose inbound on the ball. Time out call by Whitman Hanson, the breaking the action here at Whitman Hanson. The score is your Whitman Hanson Panthers 61, Plymouth North Eagles 49. Well, Mike, we said the fourth period was going to change. What do you think about this action? I think that the coach has caught a great timeout. He has a 12 point lead. There's four and a half minutes left in the game. Tell his guys, you know, keep staying aggressive, get to the free throw line, play smart, make sure you're playing your defense and getting those rebounds. You don't want to give up any more points to Plymouth North. You don't want to give them a comeback. You want to make sure you build your lead and you close the game out. Well, we've got an 11 point game or a 12 point game actually here at Whitman Hanson. The coach is talking right now. I'm sure he's saying, hey guys, there's four minutes and 28 seconds left. Let's be smart with the ball as they usually are. Let's run some clock. And let's get out of here with this win. I agree, I agree. What a game it's been tonight. This has been exciting. This game has had everything. But Whitman Hanson just too strong and not giving Plymouth North enough time to get back in the game. Hey, you gotta give Plymouth North credit though. They're not, they're not giving up. They're here to try and win this game and with a 12 point deficit, you, you're not gonna see them give up. Yeah, they're not an easy team. Like you said, they're six and six and they do have something to prove, but 
At nine and four, Whitman Hansen looking for 10 wins. Okay, we're back in the action here. We got a 20 second shot clock with 428 to play in the fourth period here at Whitman Hansen. Taj Hunt is inbounding the ball and we've got a lot of movement already on the floor. They have to be John smart with the ball. Leahy. Leahy's just holding the ball, taking his time, spreading the floor, gives it to Shaughnessy, comes down with it. Whitman Hansen has to be careful. They don't rush any shots. They don't want to settle. They want to get good looks. And if they can, get to the free throw line and try and slow the game down a little bit. I think we had a little tip there. Whitman Hansen's gone on offense. Taj Hunter bringing it up to John Rowe, to Ty Rice. Hunter resetting the offense. Gives the ball to Leahy. Leahy looks to the hoop. What, what a an great unbelievable inside feed. pass. Unbelievable pass to Jacob Hanson Bartlett, and he goes up for two. That's how you want to close the game out. Get the inside paint points and make sure you get high percentage shots. Taj Hunter goes after the ball. Little fancy footwork by uh, Jay Lennon almost cost him a turnover. He throws up a three, misses. Once again, just like in the first period, Whitman Hansen forcing Plymouth North to be Hunter's on the three bringing the ball up. They're playing some pretty aggressive basketball. We got a timeout call by the coach, Whitman Hanson, Bob Rogers. 3.07 left here in the third period, fourth period actually at Whitman Hanson with the score. Y'all Whitman Hanson Panthers, 63, Plymouth North Eagles, 49. Mike, there's 3.07 left. What are you thinking? I'm sure the coach is saying you're doing a great job. You want to make sure that you keep control of the ball, you want to slow things down, you want to make sure that you're calling smart timeouts, making smart plays, but the most important is don't force any shots. You want to make sure you get the high percentage shots, and if you can, try and get some and ones just to separate things a little bit, and that way you're sitting a little bit more pretty. But coaches wise, you definitely want to make sure you call timeouts and not force further play. You want to make sure you slow things down when you need to and regroup and find a new game plan. But what they're doing is great. They're making their shots, they're playing good defense, they're staying aggressive, and they're calling timeouts when they need to. Exactly, they're playing smart basketball. And you could see it on that last possession. They're kicking it out, they're not taking any threes. They're making them come out and play them, which is a smart decision by the coach. When you've got the other team with eight fouls, let make them come out and play basketball. They're gonna follow you, they, they have to. The desperation set in. As I think you can see. I think Coach might be might be talking to Tom Brady because these, these guys are staying well, calm and pressure. Foul. Exactly. You're going to see Leahy go to the go to the line now. He's shooting one on one. Speaking of Brady, what do you think about those Patriots? We've got a game coming up in a in a couple of days. Is that called the Super Bowl? Oh wow! I can't wait. I'm glad Gronk is cleared, and this is going to be an exciting time. Food, football. Here we go, Leahy's at the line, one-on-one. -on -one. And the first one's all net. Whitman Hansen has been solid at the line tonight. And with three minutes left, they need these points. Leahy's got 17 points. And that makes 18. Plymouth Lost coming back up on offense. Shaughnessy comes down with it and puts it in for two. Whitman Hanson's running a little clock here. You have to. Here comes Leahy, dishes it off with an unbelievable pass. Great ball movement. That's what you want to do. Slow things down. Take your time. They got a great, great look at the free throw line. Hanson Bartlett just got fouled. He's going to be shooting too. And that's what they're doing. Whitman Hanson's in the double bonus.
Whitman Hansen very solid at the line tonight. Hansen Bartlett's having a great game. He's got 13 points, I think. Nice block. Oh, we got a foul. Foul's gonna be on number four, Josh General. Puts number 12 at the line, Cameron Potter for the Eagles. We got nine fouls on the Panthers and 10 fouls on the Eagles. And this is the first one. We're approaching the two minute mark here at Whitman Hanson in the fourth period with the score, yo, Whitman Hanson Panthers 66, Plymouth North Eagles 51. What a solid overall game for Whitman Hanson tonight on this Friday night. Good night to be here and see a great game. The way he's bringing the ball up, he's killing some time. They got to double team him. Borgen goes up with a three. Leahy comes down. Tyree comes down with the ball, passes it to Leahy. Hunter's getting fouled all over the place. There's no, that was a no call, but Hunter got pushed. It was off him, but he got pushed. You just keep playing strong defense, this game's over. You got a minute left and you got a 14 point. But I'll tell you, like I said, they're not giving up. The way he just tipped it, it's gonna be Eagles ball. He just touched that ball as it went out of bounds. We're gonna see it. Ooh. Leahy steals the ball, passes it to Hunter. Hunter's gonna go up for the layup. Some fancy footwork, what a shot by Taj Hunter. Great transition basket. Another turnover by Plymouth North, back in the hands of Hunter. Number four just got his pocket pick. What a great defensive play by the Panthers. Smart, play, smart time to just wind things down. I think, we, I think we got a foul here. Fouls on number four, Jay Leonard. He might have just fouled out. Whitman Hanson's doing a full line substitution. And you can hear the crowd showing their support for Whitman Hanson. Stevie Kelly's coming in. Ben Amato's coming in. Ryan Schwade's coming in. Joey DePina coming in. You're gonna see some good ball movement. Nice move. And the senior nice for two. two. by Ben Amato. He comes right in, scores right out of the gate. Brings the lead to 18 points with 30 seconds winding down on the clock. The foul's gonna be on number three, Ben Amato. It's gonna put uh, Josh Simmons at the line for two. I wanna thank our community access production staff, Amy Broderick, Kevin Totsi, and Paul Watson for making Mike and I look good here tonight at Whitman Hanson. They're doing a fabulous job. You've been watching a Whitman Hanson Cable production, and until next time, which is gonna be in about 22 seconds, have a great night, but we're not done here at Whitman Hanson as neither one of these teams has given up. And there goes a three-pointer. And a rebound, and it looks like it's gonna be a foul by number 54, sophomore Tom Vassell. So we've got 16 seconds left to go. 
here at Whitman Hanson. The clock's winding down. Neither team's given up, Mike. They're both still playing unbelievable hard. 14 throws up a three-pointer. It's a miss. Number 20 comes down with the ball, and that's it. It's a wrap. The final score from Whitman Hanson Regional High School this evening was the Whitman Hanson Panthers 70 and the Plymouth North Eagles 53. I'm Bob Hayes along with my broadcast partner, Mike Moorside. I want to thank you for tuning in to this Whitman Hanson Panther basketball. You've been watching a Whitman Hanson Community Access production. Until next time, have a great evening. And as always, watch Whitman Hanson Panther basketball.